Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by Karis Artingstall. Karis, you're just signed with Boxer, Sky Sports, can it get any better than that? Not if you ask me my personal opinion, no, I think this is the best it gets and that, so over the moon. Talked about the difficulties, we've seen the Olympians when they come out the, the Olympics, and even if they, when they medal, if it's a bronze, silver or gold, these promoters are on them. They're on them hard and you must have an offer from all promoters up and down the country. But why Sky Sports and why Ben Shalom and Boxer? They are on your hard. They sell you the dream. They, they bombard you in boxes. But um, it's all new to you, so you kind of get thrown back. by it. Like You, you kind of have to take a step back and you have to sit back and weigh the options out and whatnot. But Sky's the biggest platform in the world. Ben Shalom, he's doing great stuff for boxing at the minute, especially on the female side of things. You only have to look at the female stable on Boxer. Unbelievable. So I'm just glad to be joining it. Why not stay in the amateur and try and get that gold medal, change that bronze to gold? Was that a difficult decision to not stay in turn pro? Mm, mm, not really. I'm 27 now, pushing on to 28 this year. I don't, you don't look it. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. I'll come to you again. Um, but I've medaled at every major, the Worlds, the Europeans, the Olympics. I was only really missing the Commonwealth Games. Um, like you said, I could have stayed on and tried pushing on for the gold medal, but... I want to turn pro, I'm, like I said, 28 this year, give it a good go at the pro now, get some world titles under my belt and then I'll be happy with my career. I've got to ask you, you, are, well, you and Lauren are partners and would you ever fight on the same show? Because I'm wondering how nervous you would be if Lauren was on before you and then you had your fight coming up, how would that dynamic work? Yeah, that's not happening, that not happening now. In the qualifiers we boxed on the same show obviously and in the Olympics, terrible. Um, if she was on before me and I could hear opponent hitting the pads, for example, she was fighting Russia. The Russian was an absolute monster. She was punching the pads and I was like, if Lauren's not on her A-game, she's getting clumped with one of them, it's going to hurt. So it, it, it sends my ner nerves for the roof light and then I can't fight the next after that because I'm burning too much nervous energy, aren't I? So I'll be, I'll be no good in the ring after that. So, now nah, separate shows. You mentioned featherweight going down at Super Bantamweight. Uh, reason for that, is it just... Do you think obviously the girls that do it down at Super Bantamweight they're tougher or why, why move down? I believe there's um, a bigger pool at Super Bantamweight. If I get more fights at Featherweight, I'll fight at Featherweight. I'm not 100% saying I'll make Super Bantamweight yet. I've, I've made the weight before. I was weighing that for the qualifiers, so I know I can make it. Um, but we'll just see where the most competition is, I suppose, and see, see, what, um, yeah, see what the best fights are out there. Obviously, women's boxing right now, when you look at Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano fighting at the end of this month, and Clarissa Shield and Savannah Marshall might be fighting next if Savannah gets through this fight tonight. We've seen great fights in Ebony Brittany and Shannon Courtney, Chantel Cameron going for an undisputed. When you look at the Tasha Jonas winning a world title, do you know what I mean? These girls, Terry Harper as well, even the girls out in America, Michaela Meyer, right now it's unbelievably talent. I mean, when you look at all these girls, man, you must be excited to get in there and Get, get get your hands in the gloves and start fighting, man, in this pro, pro debut as soon as possible. I know, like you just said, the amount of female talent out there at the minute, all them names you just listed, phenomenal talent. I just want to follow the step, like the footsteps of Savannah Marshall, Chris Shields, they've got world titles, Tasha Jonas, like you said. You've got myself, Lauren Price now, and Caroline Dubois, another young female, unbelievably talented. Hopefully we can just follow the, the footsteps of the ones I just mentioned before and keep pushing the, the sport on, especially in the female division. One final one, when is that pro debut then? And talk to me about Savannah Marshall as well. So when's your pro debut? Because I know we rush for time here. So your pro debut and talk to me about Savannah Marshall tonight. I think I'm looking around start of June, end of May, start of June for my debut. So still a short while away, but it's, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> um, and Savannah Marshall, what do you want me to say? She's a world champion. She, she's talk about her fight with Clarissa. If that does happen, how do you see that then? If that fight happens, which I really hope it does, because it's one of, if not the biggest female fight out there to be made, it has to happen because I just don't see anyone challenging Savannah as much as Clarissa does and vice versa. But if you're asking me for an answer on who wins, I'm going to back Savannah Marshall and I say Savannah Marshall wins. Karis, thank you so much for doing this for IFL TV and uh, enjoy the boxing tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.